guys. Um, I'm going to do an update on the plants that I, Suzette and I traded, the ones that I got from her. And I kind of got them all gathered around me, but I'm going to show this biggest one first again, like I did the other on the lemon lime. This is the philodendron horse head. And since I've had it, it's been almost three months, it has put out this new leaf and this new leaf and it's getting ready right here to unfurl another leaf and <clears throat> this cutting was can you see where my finger is now and here's where the top of the plant is now this is all new growth since she sent it in less than three months so i would say that this one is off to a good start and my goal is to let it get just a little bit taller because it's going to hit the bottom of the shelf above it and let these nodes mature a little bit and then I'm going to cut it and propagate it and stick it back down in the bottom of the pot and that'll shorten it up a little bit and fill in the bottom. I'd like to do it, have like three stems around and so looking forward to that. Okay, now the other plants are a lot littler, so I'm going to set this down and reset. I'll be right back. All righty, here we go again. Um, all the other guys are pretty short in stature. So um, this is the philodendron lemon lime, and it's not the upright. It is the <laughs> the hangy down one and when I pulled her out of the her macrame hanger I tipped her and got dirt all over her so darn it oh well I can give her a little bath and um I don't know I think she's doing well she's growing and I think these are all new leaves coming in and there's another little one right here coming and this is the ripsalis Oh my goodness. Bassifera. Um, let me see. I hope that will focus on that. Uh, anyway, um, and it's doing well. It, it is definitely rooted in there. And um, it, it has some new growth going on right here. This is some new growth. I got dirt on my fingers now. There's some here. And on this stem and these little guys are coming so I think it's gonna be fine and then um, this is the Raffidora Raffidophora pinata and uh, one of the stems was quite long and I've cut it down to node several, I think it was four different nodes and I've got roots on one node just at one long root and so when, you know, the time comes and I feel confident to plant it, I will put it in this pot because it's just the one so far. The others haven't done anything, but they're not rotting. So I'm, I'm not giving up on them yet. And oh, let me move this out of the way. Here we go. This is the, um, it's a Anthurium Fingers. And uh, it just barely had any little green starts on it when it first got to me. So it seems to be doing okay. Suzette said that it's kind of what it did for her. It got that far and then fizzled. So we'll see. Um, you know, it's only been three months. Uh, I don't know. There's a new little growth there I don't know if you can see it or not it's it's pretty hard for me to see without even looking in the camera and um, it's, it's got a huge root system is why I have it in such a very large pot and then <clears throat> where am I gonna put that let me push this back here here is the get my fingers on it this is the Ruby cascade and so far that's the, the stem that has made it but it, it's doing good. It looks happy. Um, I, I don't know what to say. I see some, a couple new little leaves right there coming in. So 
Um, it seems to be doing okay. Uh, I've put it into a pot from, you know, a, a, a pot that was so tiny that <clears throat> it didn't make any sense. Not that this pot is very big. It's, it's maybe a, I doubt it's even a three inch pot, but it could be. And, um, now this guy is really happy. This is the, uh, Philodent, or the, um, Syndaptus uh, <clears throat> Pictus uh, Exotica. And look at how big this one's gotten. I've totally lost track on how many new leaves. I think this was an original. This is a new leaf. Well, no, that's probably an original. Here comes a new leaf here. This is a new leaf. Uh, and this little guy coming up down here. I think... That might have been there when I got it, but it has grown. And I, I I put it in this pot not too long ago, so I put the little stakes on it just to make sure that the stems held in place while they took better root. And here is the uh, Moonlight Trubii. And it's doing really good. These, these two leaves are new. And these two leaves are what came. And that one's torn, but I'm not taking it off because it's... Well, I don't know if you can see it. It, uh... I don't want to mess with it too much because I don't want to tear it the rest of the way. It's, it's still green, so I'm leaving it there. And I saw a new leaf coming right... Whoa! I'm tipping over on my chair leaning forward too much right here I think I'm pointing at it. A, a new little leaf just starting to come so I think it's happy and then uh, oh that's that one all right <clears throat> so this is the philodendron spade leaf and she's put out four new leaves these one, two, three, and uh, this one, no, this one came. So she put out three new leaves and has a fourth one coming right. Let's see, I can't get it to show up to you. Well, I think you can see it right here, right there. So I would say that one's happy. And then the... Uh, Ooh. Yikes. <laughs> that one's kind of gangly. This is the philodendron pedatum, and it's doing really well. I have another piece of this that's I'm rooting it out some more in perlite. It it broke off in shipping, and so I cut it, finished it cutting it because it was just hanging there by a thread and rooted it it didn't take so um, I pulled it back out and I put it in perlite and I've been having just amazing luck rooting plants in perlite ever since I saw a video on it anyway it's put out two new leaves right here and here and then there's a third leaf coming out right there. It's kind of got the 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 shoe stuck in the slipper uh, situation, or the foot stuck in the slip slipper situation right now. But it'll come loose. I I've been spraying it every day, a couple times a day. I just keep the squirt bottle by it. And then this is the Monstera Peru, and it's put out a beautiful new leaf. These are gorgeous plants and it's getting ready to do another one right here uh, see where I can turn it there you go and um, I just love this plant and I love the way that it comes out the the lighter green and then as the leaf matures it goes to the darker green it's really pretty I like it and uh, I'm looking forward to having a big full pot of that someday. And this is the Philodendron Dubium. Oh, 
wait a minute. Um, hmm. This might be the one that broke. I'm sorry. I think I got the plants confused. Imagine that. <laughs> yeah, this is the one that broke and that I cut off. And then I'm rooting the extra bit of stem where this broke in shipping. Um, I'm rooting it in perlite now. And the, the main leaf that it came with is still hanging in there. It, it's never looked terribly happy, but it's happier. And it's put out three new four four new leaves one two or one two three new leaves and it's unfurling a fourth right now that'll probably be open tomorrow and they haven't taken this more mature shape yet but that's okay it's living and making new leaves so we're happy there um and the little herd of turtles <laughs> they are so cute Suzette said at her house they get to be weeds in her other plants, and I'm looking forward to that day. I think they're adorable, and I think they're doing fine. This is kind of a big cup for that little sprig of babies, but uh, I don't know. They look plump and happy, and, you know, I don't know what to say about them. I think that they're doing great. Everything seems to be doing really pretty good. And then... Here is Curly Sue, and uh, I had her this side facing the window, and so it looks like she's grown a loop-de-loop -loop on me, so I'm going to turn her the other way and see if I can draw that bit of leaf back out again. I don't know, maybe that's how they grow, because this other one looks like it's trying to curl, too, but... It's such a cute plant, and, and all this, let's see, this piece from here to the end, between my two fingers, that's all new, and um, it, it seems nice and firm, it seems happy, it's well rooted in there. Um, I don't think it was rooted when I got it, I think it was a fresh cutting. Okay, let me move this over just a little bit, because I'm going to bring some dangly guys here. Um, now, oh, excuse my stomach if you heard that, here's the Hoya Chelsea, and as you can see, it's getting a vine, starting to vine, and it has a new leaf there, and these two are new leaves, and I think this one back here, right there, is a new leaf, and uh, it seems to be doing pretty good, I'm happy with it. I love these little Hoyas, and I love hanging them in my sunroom. And this is the Hoya, well, it's a question. It's either the Crimson Princess or the Tricolor, and uh, we're not sure. I think it's the Crimson Princess because it's it's wearing its, it's, it's got its dress on the inside where the queen wears its crown around the outside. This one ha has it the opposite way. And so, uh, and she had another one that she was showing me a picture of, and it is more like the like the queen, but it's supposed to be a tricolor. So, I don't know um, if if that's showing up well or not. But it's a pretty plant, and it's happy. It seems to be fine. There's, I seem to have dirt all over everything. Um, I think moving the plants around so much, and all that washing I had to do, and trying to get everything washed all at one time it some of the top plants dribbled down on the lower plants when I washed them and this is the uh, black pagoda lipstick plant and she's doing really good I think uh, this is all new from here to the end and this little bit on the end here is new and I got this darling little pot at the thrift store for 49 cents. Oh, yes, I love it. I don't know if I'm getting it in frame or not. I hope so. It's got cute little, I don't even know what those flowers are, but they're purple and they're cute. And uh, there. Anyway, it's the perfect size to hold my little cups. And, oops, I can't reach to hang that back up again. 
So now I'm going to have to regroup again and take the camera in my hands because I can't, uh, I can't get the other plants up on my table. They are way too big. I mean, even at my tallest setting. So I'll be right back. Now here's another one, and what I did was I had a, a dear friend, Julia, at the Plant Goblin, sent me a uh, a beautiful variegated uh, burl marks, and Suzette sent me an all green one. Beautiful. Just beautiful. And um, so I put them together because, for one, they're the same plant. Only one's variegated and one's green. And again, I like the combination of the light green and the dark green. And I kind of have them on the same shelf as the lemon lime and the Eva. And um, I don't know. They're my plants, my babies, my house, my rules. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that wasn't very nice. Anyway, you you have my permission to slap me for that one. And anyway, it's doing really well. Um, I've kind of lost track of how many leaves it's put out, but it's caught up with this variegated one. That's a new leaf. Uh, I think this is a. I think this one's a new leaf, and uh, the other ones are kind of beat up from shipping. So anyway, it's doing well, and. Um, they seem to be happy together. They've been that way for a few weeks now. So, And then the Mikans. And look at that pretty girl. Uh, I have her on a trellis. I would say she's probably up the trellis two and a half feet now. That's a four foot tall trellis. So uh, to the very top is four foot. And down to the floor. And of course it's sticking down in the pot some. But... Um, it uh, it's 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 been you know been really pretty happy there. Um, it too took a beating in shipping, and um, but at this point it's doing pretty good. So um, I don't know. I I really I don't think any. Okay, the the uh, pinguicula didn't make it. I don't know what happened. It was doing really really great. I kept it watered. Um, it, it was always happy. It was catching bugs, which I really need that again. And then one day I looked at her and she was laying flat on the pot. I never let her dry out and, uh, I can't figure out what happened. I, I don't know. But anyway, um, she didn't make it. And the other Syngonium that Suzette sent me, like the five-leaf one that I bought, the one that was called Green, um, it it really struggled in shipping. It was tiny to begin with, and I I think I've lost it, but I haven't given up all hope because there was one node left, and it grew a couple roots, but the top part that had been kind of green has turned brown. So I don't know. Well, I'm I'm not taking it. It's I've put it into perlite, not taking it out of the perlite yet, and we'll see um, what happens. I don't know. I mean, it's not taking up much space, so I just have it in a little cup. Anyway, the this is pretty much what um, what I have done with. Uh, the uh, plant room and I'm going to insert a picture of because this has nothing to do with the plants I got from Suzette but I noticed tonight my jungle boogie bloomed and it's very pretty and I'm going to put that I'm going to insert that into the video hopefully at the end if I can figure out how to do that I think I can and um, it's beautiful I don't usually let my plants that bloom spath type flowers bloom but um because it does seem in my case anyway or my experience it seems to weaken the plants so as soon as i see them making buds i nip them off but this one is very different it's pink beautiful bright dark dark pink i guess 
and it's very very pretty so anyway I thank you for watching and commenting if you choose to and liking and we'll see you next time and yes I'm wearing the same clothes I wore in the video this is the same day it's just nighttime now and I was actually kind of curious to see how the lighting would go at night and I I as crazy as it sounds I think the lighting is actually better at night than having the sunlight the camera fighting the sunlight coming in so let me know your opinion on that one and uh, we'll see you later and thanks for watching bye now